So it's been many years of me uh, being inspired by what we define as free energy and uh, to shake off that terminology a little bit. Uh, there's no such thing as completely free energy. What it means to me is simply something we don't have to pay for. We simply obtain it through alternative resources. So in this case, it's the mixture of uh, crystalline elements that are placed in between copper elements and magnesium to uh, different materials and we create attraction and electron flow whatever the explanation for that process is i'm still learning uh, piezoelectricity and casimir effect seems to be the ongoing uh, explanation but that is of course to be questioned down the road what it is that we're dealing with here there's many scientists trying to actually explain radiant energy and so on so after watching many many videos online John Bedini, uh, John Hutchison, uh, Laser Saber, showing us many methods and uh, the most common method seems to be a mixture of four different kinds of crystals. Borax, no salt substitute, alum and uh, Epsom salt. When those crystals are blended together and placed in between uh, copper tube and magnesium rod we create the effect and uh, we don't get much of current but uh, the beauty of it is that it lasts for a very very long time uh, many years in some cases so currently I'm letting this magnesium rod sit in this mixture of alum and water hoping that uh, micro crystals will form a thin layer around the magnesium rat well we're gonna find out uh, in a little bit it turns out to be that I had in my storage a very old school flash uh, lights used for photography and these are I believe one time use only so they will basically burst one time for a photo to my best knowledge so I cut one of them open and I took out the magnesium mesh and uh, what I did sort of created a thin layer of the mesh hoping it will uh, increase the surface communication with the crystalline around it I believe uh, this could be a sort of improvement over the typical standard uh, methods of building the battery here we have as an example just a regular plain magnesium rod which originally I attempted to use before I came up with the idea of applying extra layer of magnesium mesh on it in addition to the treatment with uh, alum crystalline and the magnesium mesh I also uh, sprayed it with magnesium powder so in theory this should uh, maximize the surface area so the experiment continues uh, I'm almost ready to be mixing and pouring the mixture in the copper tube we are getting closer to the final stages of completing the battery uh, I was able to glue the rod inside the copper tubing with the Gorilla Glue so we got the mixture inside the copper tubing thanks to my little funnel created out of aluminum sheet so using this tool that I just created I'm gonna be hammering down the mixture for rack like density the crystalline is inside it's been hammered for extra pressure. The battery is almost done. And uh, I'm very curious because this is my very first uh, crystal battery. This 
is my first attempt to measure the current produced by this battery and I'm not very familiar with those instruments this is probably been first time since many many years since I used one of those meters so after playing a little bit with it I adjusted it to scale uh, 10 uh, volts of direct current and uh, I definitely get reaction. It's just uh, hard to say what is the accurate uh, reading when I take it down to the scale 2.5 volt DC. And this is what I get. Maybe there is experts out there who can more accurately tell me what is the reading on this. Well, definitely something's happening. That's all I know. As I mentioned, this is my very, very first battery, homemade battery project. I anticipate a lot of potential uh, things to correct and adjust. Anyways, thank you for watching. Catch you all later.